So three of our quarterfinals have been completed and uh, what a good day's play it's been so far. Next up is Mixed Doubles and it features uh, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto who were semi-finalists last year up against Cham Teng Soon, the Olympic silver medalist. And while his regular partner, Go Li Ying, is undergoing shoulder surgery, he's playing here with uh, Chi Yin Si. Then we finish with women's singles and a repeat of the final here in Sydney last year. Some new against the defending champion, Sina Nawal. With more than 150 wineries whose vineyards stretch far across the landscape, friendly locals are happy to welcome you to the Hunter Valley, a world-class food and wine destination. Just a couple of hours out of Sydney, the region is full of hidden gems from cellar door to serving salva. The Hunter offers an endless range of gastronomic delights. Whether you sneak away for a weekend or are hanging for a holiday, grab a group of friends and head to the Hunter. So as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, from quarterfinal stage, we've only had four seeds left, seven different nations, two Chinese pairs, and they were in the top half of the draw. And as you can see, they've both won their quarterfinals. Cheng Chi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng, the world number ones, who were beaten finalists here last year. Uh, got through once again, and as you can see, Wang Ilu and Huang Dong Ping have beaten the number five seeds, the Adcocks. We're going to concentrate, obviously, on that bottom half of the draw on the third quarter. And uh, New South Wales, the host of the Australian Open, the fourth year running. And here comes Trevi Jordan and Debbie Susanto. Of course, hit the headlines, winning the All England title last year the all england to badminton what wimbledon is to tennis and as you can see they are the number seven seeds here this year the indonesian combination so champing soon well while his partner is recovering from shoulder surgery last week he was paired up with peck yang wei and this week yet another partner that yeah. is being tried out as a possible okay, regular tennis. partner for Champion soon, we understand that Go Lu Ying is going to be out for some considerable time. Uh, red or black? Uh, but red. all of us in the world of badminton wish her a very speedy red. recovery. I understand she's still in Germany where she had red back shoulder black. surgery. This side, sorry. This side. You serve, who serve? Baby to serve, receive. And to so receive. our umpire from France for this mixed doubles. And there is the Olympic silver medalist, Chan Peng Soon. Yeah, what a Olympics it was for Malaysia last year in Rio de Janeiro. Three silver medals in the five badminton disciplines. But here is Praveen Jordan, 24 years of age, currently down one place in the world ranking, went down yesterday. One place to number seven, but they have been as high as two. One week as number two in the world and as i was telling you there were semi-finalists last year lost out to cheng shi wei and chen ching cheng who then lost in the final debbie susanto turned 27 last month born in palambang in south sumatra and they have been very impressive so far in this tournament got revenge for their first round loss at the All England Championships when they were defending champions earlier this year. Beat Watanabe and Higashino in two straight games. That pair had beaten them, as I say, in Birmingham. And then Terry He and Tan Wei Han of Singapore yesterday. So to Chan Peng Soon, he's the oldest player on court at the age of 29, born in Penang. And he has been as high as three with his Olympic silver medal partner, Go Liu Ying. And they're currently, I can tell you, just dropped down to number 11 on the ranking. So as far as Chi Yi-C is concerned, she is 21 years of age. 
and as you can see, has been playing regularly with Lo Hang Yi. In fact, reached the final of the India International Series event last year. So as far as they're concerned, well, it was the first round where they had the real battle against the qualifiers, Hoki and Hirota. Dropped the opening game, but came back in an hour and seven minutes. And then it was a pair promoted from the qualifying in yesterday's match. Two straight games, very convincing, 23 minutes. So obviously with Champeng soon, as we look at our court officials for this one, and Cheer EC playing their first ever tournament together. These two pairs can never have met previously. Well, it's impossible in a knockout draw. But for Champeng soon, I mean, last week he reached the semi final with Peck Yen Wei. Here he is in the quarter final with yet another new partner while well, his regular partner is recovering from injury so Stefan Venet of France are on par for this one calling players to just make their final preparations Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Debbie Susanto, Kevin Jordan, Indonesia. And on my left, Shi Aisi, Chang Pensun, Malaysia. Debbie Susanto to serve to Chang Pensun. Bravo. Play. So there's quarter-final encounter. Fault receiver. Oh, fault receiver on the very One first love. point. Chan Peng Soon, judged to have moved before the serve was struck. Oh. Three of the four players on court, Steen, semi-finalists mm. last year. Love. At this event, look at Chan Peng Soon and Go Min Yin. Lost in the semi final to the eventual champions, Lu Kai and Wan Yashion. Yeah, that's, um, that's important to have in three. mind that uh, no. Champing Song, with his highest world ranking of number three, he might have been one and two had his partner not been injured. Uh, she was injured uh, ahead of the Olympics and also after the Olympics. Uh, Different injuries, but, but still long periods. So it's over. Yeah, she had both One, knees operated three. on in early 2014. And I have to admit, Steen, that apart from watching GEC earlier this week, oh. I don't think I've ever so seen her over. play before. Do you know anything about her? Four. No, not at all. One. Um, I read that it was a deliberate move from the Malaysian team management to pair him up with different players, give different players a chance to play with uh, one of the experienced players, obviously, uh, Olympic silver medalists. Um, right. All England finest. Yeah. Earlier this year. And of course, winner of the Super Series title. Oh. I was impressed the last time Five, uh, one. Go Lu Ying came back and, and she's such a fantastic player to watch so I really hope that she comes back again but a shoulder injury with surgery on that that takes its time normally so six one it's so devastating having your knees having surgery it's both your knees and and, and they're uh, sort of fixed and then the shoulder breaks down. Yeah, I know. It must be terrible. Oh. It's gone long, well left from so Champion Two, six. Super shot. 
Jordan. Seven, two. Eventually, the uh, qualification to the uh, quarterfinal stage in the Diamond Cup. Three. Jordan and, and Susanto beat Danes, Pedersen, and Fisher. And I must say, I, 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 I've missed Jordan and Susanto since they won the uh, the All England. They, they showed so much promise. Yeah. Ten, three. I did, of course. Ten after the All England last year, reached another Super Series tournament final, the Hong Kong event. So we have a to their teammates, the Olympic champions, like Mark and Marcia. Oof! Strings went, I think. Yeah. Four, ten. Yeah, you knew it immediately, looking down at the springs of his racket. Four, ten. Oh, good defense from Debbie Susanto. Yeah, brilliantly Service followed over. up by Travine Jordan. 11 4, interval. Oh, good start by the Indonesian pair. Oh, 11 4 up in the second Marissa, the Indonesian coach with whom Praveen Jordan first really announced his seconds. intentions on the world Old stage. One, in fact, when he was playing with Vita Marissa, they were twice semi finalists at Super Series tournaments. 2013. pair do look very much in control of this at the moment which begs the question Steen what have the Malaysians got to try and do to turn this around yeah it's, it's really difficult because um, I think uh, Whitman Champing Song plays with Go Liu Ying he, um, he has the role of the, the playmaker who sort of has the task to set up Go Liu Ying on the front Five, court, and, um, 11. and all credit to Chia uh, Yusin, but, but she's not um, as strong on the front court as uh, as Go is, so eventually they'll give the attack away, and, and we know that Jordan and, and Susanto, they're very, very strong when they're attacking, so it's really, really hard for me to see what they can oh. do to uh, to change this around, perhaps Six, try and 11. put some pressure on Debbie Susanto on the back court, try and flick her a little bit. 
Uh, we saw a number of times that she's not that hard hitting from the backcourt and uh, wants to get through the net. Oh. Oh, indecision at the back there from Seven, Trevin 11. Jordan. Maybe. in the game, Jordan. He has, seven. He has and, and that's why I, I missed them so in, in the final stages of the tournament. I mean, they can play a fantastic attacking game. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh look at that! 13-7. He leapt from the base position in court. And hit it cross his movement his direction of movement yeah that uh, is so difficult amazing oh, oh. Oh, clever. this is exactly the situation where Goliu Ying would have done a, a, a big difference 14, seven here plays the shot at the net, but it's not a good shot. It's just, yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit too long. It comes to uh, all the way down to Jordan, where Goliu Ying would have had a much bigger um, awareness on what kind of shot to play. 15-7. Mm. The upside for Chia, on the other hand, is that she gets to feel the uh, the Super so Series over. level and see what, what is it Eight, that's um, desired, uh, what is it that's um, oh. necessary for me to, to work on, what should I be able to do in order to um, be a regular here. Yeah. And, and that, that's invaluable, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and we, we've seen it with... Uh, Lai Pei Jing, who played with uh, Champagne Song when, uh, when Go Liu Ying was having surgery on her knees. And, and she's now in the second pair Sorry, with uh, Tan Kian Meng, who is uh, who's doing well at Super Series level. They're, they're not regular quarterfinalists, but. Um, yeah, but here had a great result beat the Olympic champions in the first round. First Malaysians to beat that Indonesian pair of Tintoy Ahmad and Iliana Nasir for over five years. Oh. Yeah. Now I like the fact she went for that. Yes. Seventeen, eight. That's where she should get appraisal from the coaches afterwards when they're watching the video. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is fabulous. Eighteen, eight. And it's, it's just like this that makes it fun to watch. It Absolutely. makes doubles. Watch this. He looks as if he's going to thunder Jump. it. Jump. And then Jump. plays the delightful drop shot. And you can only play this shot if you've missed it a number of times during practice. And still insisted on keep on practicing it. Mm. Because in the beginning, many coaches, 19, they, they will scold eight. you if you if you try a shot like that mm. and, and miss it. So don't do that. Take it out of your game. Yeah. I, I think if we should uh, be a little bit um, tough and um, we'd like to be sometimes. I think champions only should work a little bit harder from the back door. In this particular match or in general? Yes. In, in, uh, <laughs> maybe also in general, but in this particular match. Yeah. How, how many 20, smashes, how many times has he smashed twice in a row? Yeah. To give his partner a good um, read of the game? Yeah. 
maybe something for the second game because I think we're about to close out the first. A whole host of game point opportunities. Four, two. Oh, that's a nice drop shot. It's gone wide. Game. And opening game to the number seven seeds, Travin Jordan and Debbie Susanto. First game Susanto. won by Travin Jordan and Debbie Susanto. 21-8. 21-8 confirms the umpire. Seven, Just four, 13 eight, minutes needed. Four. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game. Level. Play. So the number seven seeds from Indonesia. Ravin Jordan and Devi Susanto looking absolutely superb in that opening game. 21-8. Service over. Now what can the Malaysians do no. to try and turn this around? It's even more efficient because his smash is so powerful. So eventually, you you move a half a step back or something like that. So that leaves more room for uh, for the drop shot. Going forward at the right moment there. Oh, good return. Yeah, and that. Yeah, now that's what you wanted, Steve Turn Moore. Yeah. Attacking play from Cham Teng Soon. And that Two. gets his partner oh. involved at the front of the court more. And, and, and gives him much, much better working conditions, especially if he smashes two or three times in a row, where she can watch the opponent, see what kind of returns is that are coming. So, oh. Maybe it's the change of ends that they've waited for because they get a little help here uh, in the attack. Relations playing with the drift. Service over. 
soon as he gets that opportunity to oh. use the power play, the big smash. You're right, I was watching the defensive stance then of the two oh. Malaysian players, and they have to go yeah. back in court. Yeah. They have to be prepared for that big smash, which is why they're so vulnerable to the drop shot. A little bit Four, difficult to three. see on, on the pictures here how much power he generates, uh, probably in Jordan. Uh, but um, if you look at the backswing here in the forehand side flat game and the backhand side flat game, he's got a very, very little backswing. And he uses that extreme uh, forearm power also in his smash to get a really, really crisp smash um, away. Nice. Good rally. Oh, there's the misunderstanding between the two Malaysians. Service over. Oh, they got away with it. Four. Oh. There it is. Both leaving it for the other. Oh, that was a little bit of trickery from Chanteng Soon. Five, four. And parted topspin on that. Yeah, and a, another shot with very little backswing. Yes, very good shot. And the more that this match has progressed, the more impressed I've become with Chi Easy. I think she's definitely trying to do the right thing. Yeah. She's trying to anticipate. She's trying to look for opportunities to go forward. Yeah. She's doing very nicely. And it's just experience and, and even more practice that's needed. And, and that's uh, what she takes away oh. from, from an experience like this playing with Champagne Soon is that, OK, I'm almost there. I, I don't. Six. It, it's not five. like I, I'm not competitive at all, but um, I still miss something. Five. Service over. Six. Oh. Well, this is also what you suggested, yeah. getting Debbie Susanto yes. back to the court. Yes. Seven, six. And the flick serve that you suggested. And, and that's my 
opinion, wrong Service to play over. the drop shots at Debbie because she will definitely Seven. be creative oh. at the net play. They're probably in Jordan instead. He most certainly will lift. Or if he plays creative at the net, I mean, there's still a long way to go for Debbie to to come forward to the net. So you would be able to perhaps lift to her. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, I challenge that. Did that yeah. touch her hair as well? Service over. Well, Eight. there is no challenge. Seven. I thought it may have clipped her ponytail. Oof. Oh. Well, if it's not spotted Wait. by the umpire, then it's not a fault. Service over. Eight. Oh. They seem rather confident, um, the Indonesians, even though the score is equal here. Oh. Oh. Let's hope they're not underestimating the Malaysians. Oh. And there it is again. It's the right Nine, idea. Eight. It's just played a little bit too sharp from um, yeah. Chia. But it's it's nice for me to hear you as a as a coach talking about, you know, as long as the player's trying to do the right thing, then uh, mistakes will happen when you're early on in your career. You can accept that, but yeah. you still want to encourage the player to do the right thing for long term potential. Ten, There's too many coaches in in my view that are all Time. about the the moment of you need to win this quarter final <laughs> match. match. Yeah, yeah. You you know, then in all probability, they're not going to win this tournament. No, no. You know, their first ever tournament together. But you, to listen to you giving encouragement for doing the right thing, even if you make a mistake with it, it's, it's so heartening to me because it's, for so many years, I especially think with European coaches, it's Service all over. been about consistency. Yeah, yeah. Nine, ten. I didn't do it either when I was coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Now you've just blown it all, Steve. Well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine line, um, and I, I think one of the most important things for both players and coaches is that you have to be, at the same time, both patient and impatient. Patient if you're working on the right stuff, doing the right things. Ten. Yeah. Oh. And impatient if you're not. Yeah. Well, there's another one here that's awfully close. Oof. Yeah. Well, once again, no challenge from the Indonesians. So 10 all. Done it, and it is the Malaysians. Champagne soon, and she EC who have the advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game. Oh, this is really good character shown by the Malaysians. Not to be outclassed in the opening game, but 11, 10. here they are with the advantage Play. in the second. No. Oh, 
be a little bit after um, well, probably in Jordan yeah. here if I was uh, coaching the Indonesian side because in my opinion he's being a little bit too sloppy um, and of course I mean they won the first game 21-8 but but now it's equal in the second game or they are actually about to um, to fall a little bit behind the thing is so that as we mentioned before Seven, sometimes 12. you have to think ahead and and this is not going to work later on in the tournament he can't be that relaxed later on in the tournament and, and that's why i would um, urge him to play as well as possible and at the same time I mean, their confidence can't be that high and, and, and sometimes you build confidence by also doing the right thing when you are uh, quite clearly better than the opponent so you practice things so you build your confidence by saying yeah we beat them and we beat them big yeah yeah and you're you're right because i mean they haven't been beyond a quarter final stage of a super series tournament this year oh! service over Seven, four, two, four. 13 12. So they do need to be building the confidence for those latter stages. Yes, but both his own, but but especially also uh, his partners, oh. because unless they are, uh, are, they've been playing for many many years, she she won't know whether he'll be there when when we play the tougher pairings. Are you going to be there, or are you still going to make um, mysterious mistakes? Mm. Service over. 13-0. Oh. Good work from Debbie Susanto. No, she's growing in belief all the time, Chi. You see? Look at that. Well played. Service over. 14. Oh. It's way through the shuttle to her partner. 14. There's never been more than two points between these two pairs in this second game. Service over. Excellent. Two cross attacks in a row. 16, 15. First, this one from Champing Song. No, that wasn't too close to it. It was a straight attack and a cross kill from um, Jason. Service over. 16 all. It's always difficult for a new pair when the shot is hit in between them. Which one's going to go for it? Oh. 
Saw him doing that in the opening game. Didn't we? Turn those shoulders. Look as if he's going to play a powerful smash and then just check the shot at the last moment. Yeah, she was left stranded. Yeah. Well, most players in World Badminton would be by that. Oh, there's the drop shot again from Praveen Jordan. But oh, what a wonderful 19, exchange in 16, the early part of that rally. Yeah, Debbie Suzanne too. Thank you. Well, I always think she's underestimated because of yep. uh, the quality of Liliana Nasir, the Olympic mixed doubles champion. People forget to talk about Debbie Susanto, but she's 19, a world-class player. Yeah, she, she improved a lot in 2015-2016 um, oh. season up until they won the All England. She oh. made extreme progress as a front court player, and of course she's got one of the best to learn from. Yeah. So it's match point 20. opportunities. It's match five point straight points. 16. Four number seven seeds. Coming from behind. Now 2016. Oh, oh. Oh, he took his racket Seven away. Seven. That was a deliberate decision 17. to leave that from uh, Travin Jordan. Second time of asking, and um, for a second consecutive year, Travin Jordan and Debbie Susanto will contest the semi final here at the Australian Open. Two straight games 21 8, 21 17. Match won by Travin Jordan and Debbie Susanto. 21 so 8, 21 17. Rally. Yes, and everything going in a downward direction from the Indonesians. 36 minutes for their victory. 21-8, yeah. 21-17.
So just one more quarterfinal to come, and it's a repeat of last year's final, a second women's singles of the afternoon. And it's Sun Yu, the number six seed from China, up against the defending champion and two-time winner of this event, Sina Nawal.